it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a wild ride and I think we wanted people to get a taste of what life could be like when you see it from Harley's point of view. And when you watch this film, that's what you're getting. It's unpredictable and it's out of order and it's messy and it's funny and it's dangerous and it's violent and it's absurd and it's heartbreaking and heartwarming. It's a bit of everything, which is, which is kind of like the character. It really surprised me in that it's clever and the fast pace of it and the, f the playing of time going back and forth is really clever. It's really smart. And also, of course, I was by this point knew, knew that they wanted me to play Roman and I, I was, um, I was very happy with him. He was so much fun. I mean, now finally getting to see the whole group back together again and reminiscing about all of it, I'm really realizing how much fun it was and how connected I felt to all of the women involved and the guys too. Um, but the birds in particular um, are just like my my girlfriends, I love them. It is not a pat version of women coming together and like d doing what's right. No, this is something that is actually a much more, has a more raw attitude about it. It lives in Gotham, in the mean streets of Gotham. There is a seedy underbelly to it. And so it really, I like that edge. I think they feel real um, and raw and they're not perfect. They, you know, they drop F-bombs, they make terrible decisions <laughs> um, or bad choices. They are really raw in the movie and that's what I loved about it and that's what I really wanted to make sure came across in the film, that none of these women are perfect. They're not aspirational in that sense. You know, everyone I think has their flaws and that I think is what, you know, we all want to see on screen these days. Of Roman, I think he's hilarious. I think that Ewan was able to bring such charm and such comedy, but also vulnerability to the role. He's not just a bad guy. He's not just a villain. There's quite a lot we know about him, about his backstory and about his family and about his upbringing. We sort of understand, or at least I can understand him. It's always important as an actor to, to do that. You know, you can't really play the bad guy or the good guy. You have to play a person and understand what makes them tick. He's a great villain. He um he really made some unexpected and brave choices with Roman and the Birds of Prey characters are so true to their comic book selves with with you know creative choices on top of it. And I think that meant that Roman and Zaz could kind of be whatever they needed to be to be the perfect opposition. Oh I love you and I loved working with him so much. So much. Crazy, she's a psycho, she's quirky, she's all these annoying things, but Margot finds a way to ground her in a truth that I think we can relate to. This movie owes so much to Margot. I mean, it really was her idea. She wanted, she pitched it. She pitched the idea of a girl gang movie with Harley Quinn, and that was because she I think understood the character and that Harley is not someone that wants to ever be alone. And then she, you know, she developed the script with Christina. I think she she recruited Christina in the process. So this has been a very personal uh, journey for her, I think. She really had her hand in everything on this movie, but at the same time was she managed to keep such a clear head all the time, which I was so impressed by because you would think with all the different roles she's playing and all the different hats she's wearing that it would be stressful or that she'd be sort of in over her head or something at some moment and she never was. She was cool as a cucumber. The most exciting thing as an actor is to have a number of choices with your character. You can kind of do anything when you're Harley Quinn. You could react one way or you could react 20 other different ways and it always makes sense for the character. So that's a liberating and creatively stimulating place to be working anyway. But with the relationship with Mr. J, um, there's still a lot there and we kind of wanted to see, okay, what's Harley like when she doesn't have the comfort of knowing that Mr. J will take care of her or take care of them. I was really just kind of drilling martial arts and drilling jujitsu. So I was learning all sorts of throws. I was learning just like real basics and, and they would be drilling it into me every day. I'd be doing things over and over and over again and there'd be no choreography. So it was kind of boring at first. I was just kind of like, but why do I get to the choreography, you guys? Like, give me some moves. And then once we started doing the choreography, I realized they had been teaching it to me, but I didn't know it. You know, they were sort of slyly building it from the ground up. Um, so by the time we started choreographing it, there were all moves that I knew, uh, knew. They'd be like, oh, you know, you're gonna throw this one in, then you're gonna do a bit of that. And I'd be like, oh yeah, I got that, that's good, I got it. So um, they're very, very smart with the way they, they build it. Aaron Banach, our amazing costume designer, 
think she just knows what women want to wear today. Um, she always looks effortlessly cool herself. And so that was really fun, getting to create the costumes and pay homage to the comics, but also make it feel relevant for what women want to see and the street style. Like we drew a lot of inspiration, both from the comics, but also what women are wearing now, street style. And hopefully that kind of creates a unique you know, vision of the world as well. I think every scene, every frame of it, even just in terms of like the composition, everything that's happening in it is like a treat for the eyes. It's fun and it's spirited and it's violent and gritty and raw, but in this way that you feel like you're rooting for the characters. It's funny and it's fun and it's quick paced and it's just this bright, poppy, heightened, fantastical world that there's friendship and heart and humor and yeah, I think people are just gonna have a really good time watching it. Sure. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah.